Hello everyone and welcome to Snowball AI. So in this video, I will show you how you can take an image of a character and turn it into a consistent character or train a model to create an infinite amount of images in different angles, poses, emotions, and so on of your character. So I have prepared an image for this one and this is going to be our character. So it's a front view. Uh, image of our character and this is actually generated by OpenAI so it's from ChatGPT 4.0 and I generated a character sheet but for this example I cropped out the front view of our character and I'm going to use this as the simple or the one image to train the entire model. So inside of OpenArt if you do not have access to ChatGPT uh, you can do all of those things inside of OpenArt you do not need to visit another website but I'm just going to start with ChatGPT or an image from there because I know that a lot of people are playing with ChatGPT nowadays so for this one we can just give it a name let's go with Sandra so create character and once it's done it's going to be amazing because we can actually create like an infinite amount of images various angles and so on so i will pause the video and we'll continue once this is done and once it's completed you can just click on create here so here are my characters and there is the sandra character that we just created i use this one here this start with one image feature and you can also generate consistent or create a consistent character starting with four or more images or just with a simple description if you do not have any images so let's go with this one here and click on create and once i'm here i can just use one of these options here so it's prompt and reference to just simply write a prompt and edit some settings you can also use or reference 3d model to pose your character in the desired pose or angle that you want uh, your character to be in and then you can also place your character in an existing image so let's go with a prompt and a reference and here we can write our prompt so this is where we describe what we want our character to do so there is an example here where it says is playing guitar so we can just use that sandra is playing guitar and down here we have different settings so we have the auto enhance it enhances your prompt depending on if you want to activate it or not and then uh, we have uh, you do not need to touch the prompt ad adherence you can leave it as it is we have the weight of our character so how much should it stick to the training model of our character and since it's only one image that we have trained it on we can leave it at 0 0.8 so it can be a bit more creative and going down we have also the output size so this is the dimensions we can just go with landscape for this one or you know what let's go with vertical for this one and then the amount of images that we want to generate down under settings there are like steps if you want to play around with it and so on but let's leave it as it is for this one image and create two images of our character so let's see if we can have a consistent image of our character playing guitar created from only one front view image of our character that we put into the ai model and there we go so we now have our character holding a guitar and we also have another variation this one here does not look like our character that much the proportions of the head is very big but we can use this one here so if we go to weight and if we increase it to zero point or let's just increase it to one let's see if we can get even more consistent results and there we go so we now have our character playing guitar and both images look more similar to the first image so let's go with something else like sandra is looking down on top of a mountain and there we go so with only one image we could get a back view of her and overlooking a village in the next one we have her kind of sideways a quarter view and she is overlooking the city or the village so there we go only by 
creating or adding one image, we can generate our character in multiple angles and in various scenes. So this was not possible only a year ago and now we can do all sorts of things. Another great thing with open art is that you can actually turn your images into videos inside of the same platform. So you do not need to create an account on Kling AI or whatever it is you're going to use. You can just use one of their existing or one of the models that they've added. So they even have the Kling 2.0 version here. So if we click on that, you can actually use Sandra. There we go. We can add this one here and then say camera rotating as girl is overlooking village. Windy and close view from the wind. And then we can set the creativity at 0 0.5. And for negative prompts, we can add deformities, more thing, low quality motion blur. And then lastly, click on create to create the video. So we'll need to wait for a few minutes because it is the latest cling model. It actually does take a bit. So I have an account on their website and it actually does take a few minutes to generate one of their videos. So until that, let me explain some other things that we can do here. So let's say we have Sandra here. We can also add another character inside of open art. So we can click on add character. And then here are a few of my characters that I've created earlier. So none of the styles really match with the character that I have created now. But like these two characters here, I have a separate video where I create this boy and this girl. And then I add both of them to create multiple consistent characters in the same image. And this is how you can do it. So once you're inside one of your characters, you can just click on this one here, add character. And it's still on beta, so it's a new feature, but it's really, really awesome. So you have access to all of those things inside of open art. You do not need to switch platforms. You can use the same platform to achieve a lot of different things. And that's what I recommend. So I'll cut the video until our video has been fully generated. And this is the video that we got. Wow. So as you see, her hair is floating and the, the camera is actually rotating. And we see the rest of the village. Isn't this crazy? Like we couldn't even imagine something like this. And now we can create entire videos within yeah, a few seconds or a few minutes starting from only one image. It's crazy. So the prompt that I used was camera rotating as girl is overlooking village, windy and clothes moving from the wind. So yeah, we got some minor movement here around the wrist and there is also some here on the front. We got a very good video of our character rotating. So this is amazing. All right. So if you want to create consistent characters starting with one image and turn it into animation, I strongly recommend open art. There is a link in the description below if you want to start creating and generate videos like I just did here. All right. Thank you for watching everyone Goodbye and, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.